Pika 1.5 is here and you can do some really cool stuff like this. If you've been following the world of AI video generation, you're probably familiar with Pika. Earlier this year, they released version 1.0, which got a lot of attention. They were competing with tools like Runway ML, and while their user interface was cool, the results didn't fully meet expectations at the time. Since then, we've seen other AI video tools making waves, like Kaling, Luma Labs, and Minimax. But now, Pika is back with a new update, version 1.5, packed with longer, bigger, and better video generations, plus some awesome new effects. So let's dive into the new features. To kick things off, head over to pika.art. Now hit this button and sign up if you haven't already. When you're logged in, you'll see a new menu down here called Pick Effect. Here, you can choose from various options like inflate, melt, explode, squish, crush, and even turn things into cake. I'm going to upload this image of a dragon from the House of the Dragon TV series and use the squish effect. It's going to take a while to generate because there's a lot of demand for this tool right now. While we wait, let's explore some of the cool videos other users have already created using the new effects. Here's a squish effect that makes everything in the video look like it's being flattened by invisible hands. You can also see some really creative effects like inflating objects, melting people into liquid and turning things into cake. You can blow stuff up, which actually looks pretty cool, and there's lots of detail here, which I think is nice and could be useful for a short film. Okay, so our video has finished generating. Here's how the squish effect looks. You can see how it transforms the subject. Pika even added a cool sound effect to the video. In addition to these visual effects, you can also generate videos using text prompts and image references. For example, Pika allows you to write a prompt and add an image to create unique video clips from scratch. Let me show you a few examples. Here's one where the prompt was for a bullet time shot. As you can see, the camera movement is smooth and the scene looks fully developed. There are also some human shots, which can look a bit uncanny, but overall the visuals are really impressive. Here's another clip featuring a skateboarder. The physics are slightly off, but the motion and speed look great. Just a few months ago, something like this would have been groundbreaking. Finally, here's an alien running, shared by Elad Richardson, a research scientist at Pika. It's a great example of what you can create with these tools. Overall, the latest Pika 1.5 model looks amazing. It's definitely competing with the top tier AI video generation platforms out there, and I'm excited to see where it goes next. I was hoping to share more of my own video generations, but they're taking a bit longer due to high demand. I've got a few prompts and tests in progress that I'll share later, so subscribe to the channel for that. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and share it with others. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.